In this video, we travel about 9 miles north of Escondido, California, to what we think is one of the coolest local museums in San Diego County. The Deer Park Winery and Auto Museum is located right off Interstate 15 and Old Highway 395 near the Lawrence Welk Resort north of Escondido. While at first glance the museum doesn't look that big, we were surprised how huge it actually was. The museum is spread out over three buildings and the first part of the museum is in the same building as the gift shop. The Deer Park Winery and Auto Museum was created in the early 1980s by the late Robert Knapp and claims to have the world's largest collection of convertibles. And not only does the museum consist of vehicles from the 1800s all the way to the 1970s, it's also filled with neon, signs, and other Americana. Here's a look at the first building and some of the cars that are in it. Now I apologize in advance, I'm not a big car guy so I don't know a lot of information on most of the cars here. However, each car did have a sign with a ton of information on it, including how many of that model were produced and how much that model cost in the year it was released. A couple of highlights in the first building for us was seeing this Chrysler with the wood panels on the side because that's not something you see very much of anymore and our son was amazed by it as well having never seen wood used on a car before. And another highlight was seeing the Crofton Brawny Bug, San Diego's only production car which was made from 1959 to 1961. Attached to the first building, in kind of a patio area, was a small Coca-Cola exhibit. This area also included a German Messerschmitt automobile, which I cannot imagine trying to drive this thing on the road, it was so small. The cars at Disneyland are bigger than this. After exploring the first building, we headed across the vineyard to the second building, and that's where the museum really started to get impressive. First, the outside of the second building has a replica old-style gas station, which I thought was really cool. But once we went inside, we were absolutely blown away by what we saw. There are a ton of convertibles here. I mean, this collection is absolutely amazing. I've been to the San Diego Auto Museum, and this collection blows that museum out of the water. Another thing that I thought was incredible here was seeing the old dealership signs because I can't imagine too many of those are still in existence today. And there were also blow-ups of classic magazine advertisements for the vehicles along the roof. It was also pretty neat to see cars from brands that don't exist anymore such as Hudson and Studebaker. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not really a big car guy but I could easily spend a couple hours just in this room looking at everything, reading all the signs, and just taking it all in. And the amazing part is, this was only one room of this building. As you head into the next room, the collection starts to shift some. While there are still cars, the focus tends to be more on mid 20th century electronics. In this room you will find a lot, and I do mean a lot, of classic radios, televisions, household appliances, typewriters, cameras, pretty much anything you could think of. Imagine having this giant ball on top of your refrigerator. Now I don't know about balls on top of refrigerators, but some of the appliances still look pretty cool today. Jessica really liked this pink stove, and I thought this TV was really cool looking and must have looked really futuristic when it came out. There was so much cool stuff in the second building and really it was worth the price of admission alone, but there was still a third building to visit. The third building is located on top of a hill and the path there takes you back through the vineyard. Like the other two buildings, you'll find more really cool classic cars in the third building, but also some really cool neon signs and a bit more Americana, including an appearance by the big boy. This room had a lot of really great neon, but probably the highlight was seeing the neon from Oscar's drive-in. 
Now, Oscars was before my time, but I had heard my dad talk about it in the past, and it was supposedly a really popular drive-in spot in the 1950s and 60s. And I did mention this building had a lot of Americana as well. It did have a large Barbie collection. And there were collections on different celebrities such as Elvis, Marilyn Monroe, and even Brooke Shields. And the building also featured this really awesome stained glass window. All in all, the Deer Park Winery and Auto Museum is amazing. And it's really kind of a hidden gem in San Diego County because I don't think a lot of people know about it. When we were there, and we were there on a Saturday afternoon, we pretty much had the place to ourselves. If you're into classic cars, this is a place you're gonna wanna stop at. And even if you're not, like me, it's still definitely worth a visit because I thought this place was absolutely awesome. I'll put their address and a link to their website in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.